past several years across nearly every form of entertainment, whether you're talking about Hollywood and movies and television, whether you're talking about comic books, or whether you're talking about video games, it seems like there's a common theme. Taking something, a franchise, an IP that has an iconic character, iconic stories that people care about, that they love, and instead of giving fans what they want, instead saying, you know what, this is just so problematic, we have to change it, we have to do better, but we don't want to create something new, we still want to piggyback off that very same name, and the Tomb Raider franchise is no different. It certainly had its ups and downs over the past several decades, but Lara Croft has been in the news recently after kind of a crazy poll went viral, a BAFTA poll, a British film and television, you know, award show that essentially did a very small poll with, that Lara Croft ended up winning as the most iconic video game character in history. That's kind of a joke along with several other people that made the list, but it's a small poll. It's a stupid thing. However, there's a much different Tomb Raider story that's out there today, and it's because what Crystal Dynamics is attempting to do with this character in the future. This post is getting a lot of attention right now. Tomb Raider tweet, British adventurer Lara Croft will transition, no pun intended, from being a raider of tombs to a seeker of truth. As Evil Hat Productions and Crystal Dynamics seek to redefine the Tomb Raider series in order to escape its colonial past. And we have already seen this happen to the Tomb Raider franchise over the past several iterations. It has had a much different feel in terms of Lara Croft actually going in raiding tombs and bringing them back to our house to, well, we have to preserve this and preserve that. It's been like that for a while. Apparently that is not enough and they need to go even further. And this is in the aftermath already of getting hammered for what they did when they released the remastered collections. Crystal Dynamics sparks controversy over Tomb Raider 1 through 3 remastered trigger warning because they basically admitted that it's just really racist and disgusting, some of the things that happen in these games, a trigger warning before them, just fucking pathetic. The games in this collection contain offensive depictions of people and cultures rooted in racial and ethnic prejudices. These stereotypes are deeply harmful, inexcusable, and do not align with our values at Crystal Dynamics. Well, you know what? If that's the case, then why try to make money off of them? Why try to profit off them? If this entire thing, if the history is so rooted in racism and bigotry and prejudice, why do you continue to use the Tomb Raider name to fucking make money? Uh, you, you, want, you, you want to have your cake and eat it too. You want to say, we know these things are so bad, but by the way, buy this, please. It's pathetic. But it looks like in these future iterations, they are going to continue to try to change the character entirely. And the question remains, if you really feel so strongly about this, then why do you continue to use this character? Well, it's because they can't make anything of their own. They have to piggyback off things that people already care about. Tomb Raider series to escape its colonial past. British adventurer Lara Croft will transition from being a raider of tombs to a seeker of truth as Evil Hat Productions and Crystal Dynamics seeks to redefine the Tomb Raider series in order to escape a history wounded by colonialism, according to an excerpt from the official Tomb Raider Shadows of Truth RPG rulebook. And I do have that right here. We can look at it. Crystal Dynamics makes statement against Tomb Raider's past. And we're, we're, let's just read this, shall we? What, then, is raiding? And how does it mirror colonial practices? Raiding, as depicted in the original Tomb Raider games and stories, involved going into ancient tombs and historical sites of different civilizations and acquiring artifacts. It operates on the assumption of finders keepers that grants raiders with a means and drive to claim ownership of artifacts, regardless of whether they have any historical or cultural claim to the treasure. Later games released have started the work of addressing this by having Lara acknowledge her past mistakes and try to understand and show respect for the cultures and communities she comes into contact with. She's also worked to reform Raider culture and raise awareness of her peers. Lara no longer decorates her mantle with mythic artifacts. As a Raider, she prioritizes seeking out the truth. Much of this game is inspired by her humanity, struggle with heroism, and her tenacity. We believe all three aspects are an important component in creating a game that celebrates history and culture while acknowledging the respect and work required to live in a world wounded by colonialism in this game. We seek to continue in that work alongside Crystal Dynamics by creating a sandbox for you to tell stories that address colonialist themes in play and create your own stories of respect and support for the people and cultures your seekers encounter. 
Now, this is from an RPG rulebook, uh, Tomb Raider Shadows of Truth, so that's why it's described like that. But this is exactly how it's going to come into play for the rest of the history of the character, as long as these people have control over it. It's the same thing we see time after time after fucking time. They want to use these iconic characters. They want to use the brand recognition. They want to use the built-in fan base. But they want to inherently change what this character is. We've seen that play out over the course of the last several entries in the Tomb Raider franchise, and it looks like it's only going to continue to get worse. There's a reason that this thing is getting destroyed right now. And again, they're just reporting on it, by the way. Uh, but look, 76 likes to 800 fucking comments. People are continuing to wake up and have the realization this is happening across all aspects of entertainment. We've been talking about in gaming, the woke, insane people that are now in charge of gaming. And they want to use an IP like Tomb Raider and a character like Lara Croft to advance their fucking agenda. We see it time and time again. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thank you